Hi guys, welcome back to my binder mail series. I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far. So we put together the binder, we did some embellishments. Now we're gonna do some shakers, envelopes, and see it all come together. So hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying this little mini series that I put together on how I am preparing this Happy Mail Binder book. And so as you know, this is going to one of my good friends and hopefully I'm inspiring you to create one of your own and send it to your um, crafty BFF. <laughs> so today I figure we can do some shakers. Um, it's always fun to include elements here, not just like um, the cute embellishments that you do, but then something fun to have that um, your your uh, pen pal can keep and treasure, especially after all these embellishments are taken out. I'm imagining this will become like a place where um, he or she can add their pic her pictures and just skip it. So I went ahead and also made this little paper clip embellishment. So basically you just grab uh, one long piece of your scraps and then you put your paper clip and then you glue it on the you know, just glue it together. And then I cut the little banner piece here. And then you just layer some other little bits and pieces that you have laying around your table. So I'm using some more of these pretty girls in here. And then I layer some just different pieces. And then these two paper clips that were already made uh, from my stash and I love the colors. They match the book perfect. So I just added them here with some, um, uh, foam tape see how easy it is to remove and this is why I love using this laminator page because we take out the foam tape super easy and there you go and then they can use this for something else and yeah so I'll show you that and then on these other pages I think I'm just gonna add some goodies and um, in little bags like I don't know, I'll do a final walkthrough. Um, maybe I'll do some laces, some trim, some stickers. Um, just attach them to the pages. And so now let's make some fun shaker pockets. So to make these shakers, I am going to use uh, these protective sheets. These are Project Life and this is just the large one. And then I have some sequins in here and I have this uh, white iridescent sequence I think it's super pretty I am going to be using a fuse tool a fusing tool and this is also the project life one so I already plugged it in and it's warming up right now and then I was thinking for um, embellishing we can use some stickers so I found these at Joanne's and I think they were so cute so then I also want to use some um, laces and shrimps here just to make it extra extra girly so the first thing that I'm going to do before I even start making the shakers, I want to make sure that the holes that come with this protective sleeve go into my binder and it won't because there's a different, I don't know, brand or whatever. But um, so I'm just gonna take one of these out and use it as a template. So I'm just gonna open that one up and then I'm gonna just punch some holes on this protective sleeve. So I'm gonna make sure at least I can match some of them. So I think I can match one of them here. And then I am just going to go with this tool again and make my openings. So there's one there and there's a couple more. So let me line this up again, there you go. This one and then one more up in here. Okay, so now we have the openings. Let me just make sure that it works. And I think it's fine. There you go. So it's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this back in there. Oh, and I did went ahead and add some washi tape here just to keep that, uh, prevent that from, for, from falling. All right, so let me move this to the side and I think this is warm enough now so what we're gonna do let me take this little piece out that I didn't get out all the way come on there you go so I'm gonna open my sequence I got this at Michael's for I think it's a dollar 49 and you get three different sizes 
so large, medium, and small. So I like that. So I'm going to mix some of this into my pocket. So let's see. I'm gonna start with a large one. And then you can reclose these little bags because they have like a sticky on the back. And I actually had a whole lot of sequins and I cannot find it for the life of me. So I don't know when I move my craft room uh, from the other room that it used to be to this one. I don't know where I put it. So anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna go with this. All right, so I'm gonna use quite a lot of that because I want my shaker to be full. And then I think I'm just gonna be big and small. I'm gonna go for the medium. And let's see here. Add this into there. Okay, so I think uh, maybe I'll add everything. Okay, so we have a good amount here of sh shaking, shaking beads. Oh, love it. Okay, so then you can add other things in here. You can add confetti. Uh, if you have little tiny embellishments or beads, you can add all of that in there. So I'm just gonna grab here any scrap piece of paper because I don't wanna damage uh, the bottom here. And we're just simply going to seal the pocket. So the Project Life one comes with this uh, little ruler. So I'm just gonna line that up here I'm gonna um, line up the edge with the edge of the uh, the pocket sleeve just because I don't wanna I don't want my my line to be crooked or anything so and then you're just gonna press and roll this little tool just like that and if it's warm enough it should have sealed your pocket which it did you see that so now it's good it's not going anywhere and I like it. So now, because I don't like seeing that little line, this is why we have our pretty trim to put on the top. So I'm gonna use that one. And let me cut this a little bit more so it's not too, too much. And then I also have this, I might do that too much with the, with the book, you know, because my book has, a, that here also and i i love making things that are very cohesive like that like it's like each little page of this book it's it's all a family right they all belong to each other uh, so i don't want this to look completely different from the rest so i'm gonna use some fabric tag glue and just simply add it right here on the top and now the fabric tag on the plastic it works really good but you do have to give it a little bit of time for it to dry so i'm just gonna add all that much and well we're gonna do this one first like there and then i'm going to do another layer of glue for this little piece okay now, something to keep in mind on your pocket is how is the back going to look like? So, I don't mind the look of the lace on the back. It looks really pretty. But if you're using something else, like you can also use like washi tape or, you know, other different embellishments, then you might want to do double. So, it looks pretty on both sides. All right. So, now all I'm going to do is add a sticker here on the center. And I don't know which one to use. They're all so cute. I love these sets. And these were on sale at Joanne's. They were like, if you buy two, you get three free. So you actually get five for the price of two. So that was a good deal. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do Happy Day. Okay, I might do Happy Day. You know what? I'm going to do Mafia because she's like a good friend and of course and so cute. I love this and I hope this 
sticky enough that it won't come out after a while. I hate when stickers are not sticky enough and then, you know, they start peeling off. And usually I do add a little glue to my stickers, but this is so fine that I don't even know if I want to do that. Okay, so there you go. So that's cute. And then I can embellish that with some hearts. And another heart here. There you go. Oh my goodness. I love it. So, so cute. There you go. Now, if you want, we can also embellish the side here so it's not so plain. So let's find some washi tape. Okay. Of course, I have gold washi tape. And that is perfect for what we need here. So now the washi tape, I'm also going to add, oops. I'm also going to add some, just a little bit of glue. So I know the washi tape won't stick for a long time. Alrighty, so let's just add that here. And there you go. Now it has a pretty edge. Right, let me just cut that off. So cute. Love it. Okay, so now before I add the washi tape on the other side, I'm going to make sure to punch the holes again. Okay, and the washi tape is kind of hard to punch through, but there you go. And then we need another one here. There we go. And one more here. Okay. And I think I missed the first one. There you go. Okay, perfect. All right, so there you go. Quick and easy little shaker, and it's just going to make our book a little bit more beautiful. Um, and so now let's bring back the book and pick a page. Maybe I'll put it right in the middle in between these two pages. Okay, there you go. How cute is that? I love it. Now you can make more little pockets like this and instead of doing shakers, um, you can just simply add goodies in here for your partner to take out. Okay, so I think I'm going to embellish the inside cover too. And I'm just going to add these cute little gold stickers that says, Happy Day. <clears throat> and I wish the stickers were like one, so I don't have to like, you know, add them one by one, but it's okay. And so I'm just going to put Happy Day in here. And there you go. Doesn't that look so cute? I love how this is coming along. <laughs> I want to keep it for myself, but that's not the point. The point is to send it to someone special. <laughs> okay, so now let's do another fun thing. So envelopes are another fun thing to add to your Happy Mail because inside you can put stickers, you can put ephemera, you can put um, die cuts, anything that you like. And so I'm going to be making my own envelope because I want the envelope to match the collection as well. So I'm going to use my envelope punch board here and this actually took me a minute to figure out when I first got it uh, so I don't know if we are all familiar with that but I can guide you through it so basically you look in here of what size envelope you want and I think I want to do a five by seven type of envelope um, so I'm gonna do five by seven and a half and I need a piece of paper to measure ten by ten so we are going to cut your paper at 10 by 10 and let's see here 10 and it's okay for me to use this thing paper because I'm not planning on putting anything heavy on my on my envelopes but um, you can definitely do this on cardstock um, so now it will tell you here for your 10 by 10 piece you need to set your score line at four and one eight and it reads from here to the left 
which is kind of in reverse and this is probably why I got confused because I would always be like okay form 1a will be here because I'm reading conventional way but then I guess I wasn't reading it right so form 1a will be over on this left side so we are going to place that at 4 and 1 8 and then we're going to punch and score right here there's a little score line where you're going to mark and it doesn't go all the way down because the paper is too big but as long as you mark it right there we are okay and then we're going to rotate this counterclockwise which means to the left and we're going to align the little score line that we have here with this little mark okay so that's what we're going to do that was another thing that i wasn't paying attention to when i used this for the first time i kept putting it again on the four and one eight all the way around and it was anything but an envelope <laughs> so yeah so i don't know so then we're gonna score again and then we're gonna continue doing that and now this time now it's easy because now you have the line there for you and then you're just gonna do the same thing punch and score and then one more time here align this with the score line that we just did and we're gonna punch and score all right there you go and if you already know how to use it then you can fast forward this part and then we have a shape like this and oh and then we're also going to round the corners and I just do the corners for the two longer sides um, that are going to be the top and the bottom of the envelope okay and that's it all right so now we're gonna fold along the lines here I'm just gonna fold them all for now and that's gonna be the top and these two are gonna be the sides just like that and then i'm going to put these two small ones on the bottom keep the large one on the top and i'm going to do glue on this side and on this side to keep this closed as so well and there you go we have our cute little envelope and we are going to add this into our book isn't it cute when everything just like goes together and I might do this one kind of over here since it matches this paper well actually it's too matchy matchy so I'm going to maybe put it here uh, yeah I think here will be good so then again what we're gonna do is just um, make the holes for the envelope and then we're going to decorate this envelope as well there we go so i went ahead and made another one because i think they're so cute and they're super easy to do so i'm actually going to embellish this side and this is going to be my front and then when it when she turns it to the other side then she can open and get the things out and so for that let's see what can i embellish this with i still have some lace i have some bling and i have stickers i have some of these still oh i still have these sheets with the oh, i have all kinds of things here so i have stickers and my page with the girl spaces on them so i might use some of these okay so let's decorate this is the funnest part of making the binder mail right <laughs> decorating and decorating some more okay so I'm thinking of using this perfume on this page because it kind of stands out and maybe I can use these gold circles to kind of frame my image. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, and or maybe I can use the gold circles to frame some of these pretty faces here too. Alright, so let's see which one can I use. I'm going to use this one that is black and white because since that envelope is so colorful the black and white kind of stands out okay so let's just cut around here and let's see so that one will go there this one will have the perfume and so now we can get some of these things so let me get this one out maybe i can use this one here Oh, so cute 
love it and then the little face can stand out there and maybe we need um, foam tape of course foam tapes always does the trick okay so let's just add a little piece of foam to make it the face stand out okay so let's just go ahead and do it let me take that out oh super cute okay and now for this one i'm gonna do the perfume bottle and i'm thinking if i should do the other gold that looks cute i just don't want them to look the same mm, well well it is what it is because i like it i really like that frame around it so i will use let me use this one that looks like leaves no sorry <laughs> It's so hard to make up my mind. Oh, this one is like actually in little pieces. Oh, that's even better because the perfume bottle is kind of bigger. So let's add the perfume bottle first and then we can do the little pieces around. Okay, here we go. So let's take out the tape. They're just so fun to do. It's just so much fun so relaxing so my daughter is doing volleyball and it is so time consuming <laughs> like between practice and um what's the other one tournaments oh i have one extra one maybe this one need to be closer here we go and this one here and one more in there okay perfect i think i like that it's okay here it's too much gap in between these two so i'm gonna move this up and this one down and since since this doesn't fully close i'm just going to add a heart to make it close there you go that's cute isn't it Alrighty. so now let's embellish a little bit more on the top i also have this trim here that i got out from my stash and i'm thinking maybe i can add just a pretty border here on the top and that'll be it for this one i think i think that's all we need <clears throat> so just gonna add a little line here. There you go. And put this there. Okay, how cute. Super cute little envelope. And here's the other one. Now this one it's a little something also on the top. This might be too big. I don't think I like it. And I don't have enough of these. Oh, although I do have enough to just add it here, I think. Right? To give it a little extra, extra something. Yeah, right? What do you think? With the eyelash trim. All right, so then we're going to add some of this glue to keep the eyelash trim in there there we go i have to put it under the girl and then just kind of push it in there and there you go okay i love this eyelash trim okay so here we go so now this one looks a little bit more fun with that and i think i'm just gonna leave it like that that should be good Alrighty. so oh no 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 let's put one of these stickers how about with you the one that says cute because this is cute okay so let's do that cute oh love it 
Okay, <laughs> now that is cute. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to add my envelopes in here. And I think we said we were going to add this girl, but we have a girl here. So maybe I'll just add this one in this place. It's so fun to make these envelopes. Oh, this one, I need to open the hole a little bit more. It needs to be a little bit lower. So let's do that again. There you go. So we have one fun envelope and I do have to add a closure. Maybe I'll just do some washi. And the next one, I love this shaker. Maybe we should put the shaker more on the front. Let's see. Maybe, huh? But anyway, so like we can add this cutie in here. And see, again, this hole I didn't make on the right place. So, alrighty, there we go. Perfect, love it. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. All right, so now I'm just gonna add some more goodies and I think we are going to be done. So I went ahead and I cut all of these extra little um, girls that I have and the ice creams and all of that and then she can use that for herself to make some embellishments so i'm just going to put those in this envelope here and i'm going to close that with some washi tape so i'm going to use this pretty um teal and gold and i'm just going to keep that close like that um, and then on the other envelope i'm going to add some paper doilies that kind of match um, the collection a little bit. I didn't have light pink, so I'm putting these dark pink ones, but I think it's still cute, it still matches. And again, I'm gonna do washi tape to keep that closed, that way she can open it easily. I love how cute this is. After she takes all of that, we can put a little picture in there and then add some little uh, memorabilia if she's keeping this as a mini album. Then I have some stickers here that I'm going to give to her. So I just want to find somewhere to put those. And I think here is a good place for that. So I might do this little, um, how pretty is this? Like rosettes and little rhinestones. Now I'm going to cut this out because it does not match my theme. And it also, it's a little bit too big to display. So I'm just going to put that straight onto the the page using some tape here's my tape and that way she can easily remove that and use it so let's do that really quick here yeah, i'm just gonna put two pieces of tape just like that and let's just add this in here so some embellishments you know it's good to have handmade but then also you can add some other things that they can use and then here i think i'm going to decorate a little bit on the top um, and i'm just gonna use this pink pretty rosette that i have just so it looks it doesn't look so empty so i'm going to Take this out and add some of my glue up here in the border. There you go. It's just the little things. And there we go. So now it's a little bit embellished for when she uses this after. And then in here, I was thinking on adding these pretty flowers. But again, I'm going to take them out of the packaging this time. And these ones come on like this foam sticker on the back. So I'm just going to put them here. So she can take them out and use them. Super cute. These flowers are amazing. And there you go. Quick and easy. Now, of course, you can make some flowers yourself and just add that as well and then here we already have something so on the back page i want to use 
this sticker because it is so beautiful. Look at that. And I just love how puffy it is. Now my book is getting chunky. Um, so I'm just going to, again, I'm going to take off the top. You can also, if you don't want to take out the top part of the back, you can just add a piece of cardstock and do your own back topper. But I'm just going to make this quick and simple and add it straight to the page like this. So I'm just going to add this like that and then she can easily take this off love how cute these stickers are they match the colors that i'm using too as well i'm sorry about the glare i hope that you guys enjoy this quick series oh i went ahead and moved this to the front to see how it looks and i think i like it i mean it's a little bit chunky because it's getting chunkier and <laughs> chunkier by the minute um but i love it i love how it looks in there so yeah so we are done i hope you guys enjoy this quick tutorial on how i put my binder mail together and i love it i absolutely love it so i think i'm gonna uh, maybe I'll do a challenge of my own so I can see how you guys decorate yours. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me your comments down below. See what you think about my process. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.